everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, we're back again doing another tutorial and this time we're going to be doing an awesome Minecraft medieval starter house. Now this starter house has really everything you need if you want to be starting out in a new area in your Minecraft survival worlds. We got a small crop field, we got some animal pens, we got storage, a little sleeping area, even a cooking area inside this house. But really quick, let's get this started. Let's build this thing block for block. All right, and here we go with the block palette. So starting from left to right, we're going with some oak log, some stripped oak, some oak planks, oak stairs, some spruce planks, spruce stairs, slabs, the trap doors, the fences, the fence gates, also some cobble, some stone, some stone brick, and stone brick stairs. A couple things also along the way. The dimensions for the starter medieval house, super simple, is a seven by seven box frame. Count out the blocks in wool, it's all there for you. Now let's get this started. All right, let's start out right now in this corner with just stone brick and we're gonna texture along the way by adding some stone and some cobble. But for right now, let's get it started right here. I'm just gonna take it up one, two, three, and four. Let's give it a space of one, two, three, four, five, up here in the corner, another up by four, another space of five, another up by four, and another space of five, now up by four. Now for right now, to make it really, really simple, let's go ahead and just in the inside, just gonna go ahead and put cobble from top to bottom in between all the stone bricks. All right, now that we have that in place, let's go ahead and knock down right here. I wanna make a little bit of an arch effect right there. And this will be our way in. I'm gonna grab just some stone brick stairs and go right here, two upside downs, and we have a nice way in. And now let's go to the corners. I'm gonna take these up. One, two, one, and two, and a stair on top right there and one on that side let's do this on every corner though all right all these corners are in place now to give a little bit of texturing i'm going to go in here and add some stone just randomly scattered throughout the cobblestone let's do this real quick and there you go it's looking perfect now next up let's grab our stone again and i'm going to go up by one on every corner bit one more time so it's up by five now and then cross all of these up with just stone perfect now with that we have that in place let's grab our stone brick stairs and let's go upside down on the corner bits just like so all the way around now that we have that in place let's go ahead and grab our oak log and from this corner we're going to take this up one two three four and five let's do it on top of every single upside down stair that we had placed just now now that we have that in place let's grab our oak log and cross beam on the top side going from one log to the other that we just placed now that we have that in place let's go ahead and put logs in the center going up by three connecting to that one so going up by three on all of these let's do this all the way around there we go now we're going to grab our stripped oak log and go up one two and three on the corner bits leaving the middle one open so we're going to go up by three in the corner ones now in the center bits we're going to go ahead and put an upside down spruce there and a plank on the bottom and let's repeat this all the way around now that we have that in place let's go up again on the corner bits right here all the way around one more time with our logs and then from here we're just going to do a cross beam going from one side to the next so let's do this all the way around now we're going to grab some spruce slabs and some of our spruce trap doors let's put trap doors every other one underneath and then the slabs in between let's do it all the way around now let's grab our trap doors i'm going to place these spruce trap doors in the little gaps between the two stairs right here and just wrap this around now let's work on our roof i'm going to grab some spruce stairs and we're going to overhang that bit overhang this bit come on this side we're going to go ahead and overhang that side and overhang over here on this end let's put some upside down stairs facing upside down this direction on the top here i'm going to go with some full blocks then i'm going to go with some stairs facing towards each other again upside downs but facing this direction we're going to go again with our full blocks then i'm going to go ahead and put our stairs facing against each other again upside down stairs on the corners like this another set of full blocks stairs again facing forward then in the center bit we're going to grab our log let's put a placeholder block for now pop this out take this go all the way down and let's make sure it's overhanging at least one over this side just like it's doing over here we're going to actually overhang it one more right here so it's technically two over from this log now on the top here we're going to go ahead and put a full block right there and just leave that there for now next thing we're going to do is right underneath here we're going to go ahead and put an upside down stair as well just like so then we're going to put upside down stairs every other one we're going to put slabs in between just like that then we're going to come and repeat this thing on the other side so let's do it together we're going to put a stair facing outwards overhang that bit overhang this side do the same thing over here we're going to overhang this way and then overhang that side let's go with upside down stairs again going up on this section we're going to go with our full planks stairs facing forward another one facing forward upside down the stairs this direction full blocks again stairs facing forward on both sides over here 
We're going to go with upside down stairs facing that way. One over here. Four blocks on each side. Stairs going inwards and a full block on top right there. Upside down stair underneath that log. Coming back here. Upside down stairs every other one and slabs in the gaps just like that. Then for this side and the other side, we're pretty much mirroring exactly what we did on these two. So let's do it again. Upside down stairs on both. Full blocks on each. Put our stairs down each direction. Upside down stairs on both. Four blocks again. Stair facing forward. Another one on this side. Two upside down stairs. Two full blocks. Stair facing forward. Get our log. This time we can take it all the way down from here. Overhang that bit. Full block on top. And an upside down stair on this side. We're going to go with our upside down stairs every other one. And then slabs in the gaps. So again, let's repeat it one more time. We're going to go on this end and do the same thing. So we're going upside down stairs on each. We're going with four blocks on each. Stair facing forward. Another one forward. Upside down stairs on each. Four blocks on both. Put our stairs going down. Upside down stairs. Four blocks. Stair facing forward. Another one forward. Bring in your log. Overhang it there. Four block on top. And then upside down stair right underneath there. And then every other one gets a upside down stair and slabs in the gaps. So we have this for right now. Now, next thing, really super simple. We're just going to connect these with some oak going down this way. We're also going to go ahead with our stairs, take it all the way around. Now, this is super simple. We're just pretty much just going to connect since it is symmetrical all the oak to all the spruce in between. So going all the way around like this and then stairs on top, just like so. On the top part here, on this end, we're going to go ahead and put full blocks every other one, just like so, and then slabs in the gaps we missed. Instead, for this center bit, we're going to go ahead and put a full block and then a slab on top. And then we're pretty much just going to repeat this all the way around. Now that we have that all set up, looking really cool all the way around, we're going to start adding the interior part of the roof. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and bring in some strip spruce log and just take it all the way up from top to bottom. We can even go on the inside to make it easier for us and just cover all of these up real quick. Now that we have that covered up with our strip spruce, I'm going to come back in here and give it a little bit of plank, just randomly scattered throughout to give it a little bit of a patch look. And then I'm going to put a window right here in the center. Really super simple. I'm going to go down here, make sure the bottom one is a plank. And then over here, I'm going to put a stair. So we have that look. And then I'm going to repeat that all the way around. All right, now that we have the roof in place and everything is looking awesome, mirrored all the way around, I want to break this up a little bit by coming in here in certain spots and give these full blocks um, right around here. We can even make some of these into slabs and make it look a little bit more rustic and broken in. So in certain spots like this, we can even leave patches. That's perfectly okay. And come back in here and give it a little bit more detail. And I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way around and just make it look a little bit more worn in. And there it is. It's looking really cool and nice and rustic. Now, next thing we're going to do, I want to bring in a little bit of a chimney over here. I'm going to bring in some brick and a little bit of granite. And I'm going to go right from this corner. So this is your front door right here. I'm going to put right on this corner. I'm going to bust out this section. And let's bring in a little bit of brick. So I'm going to bust out actually this little L shape, this little three uh, block gap space. So right here, let's go ahead and just bring brick. I'll texture in a little bit of our granite after. So just make sure it looks like this. Covers up in this little spot, a little two by three area. Now from here, let's take it up one more everywhere around here. Then I'm going to take it up from here. So technically from this block, I say one, two, three, then four, five, and six. Over here on this side, I'm going to put another block and a stair. And over here, I'm going to put a stair just like so. Then let's actually come on the inside here. Let's actually add one more. Just one, two, and a stair this side, just like that. Then on top, I'm going to grab a campfire, put that on top here, and then grab our trapdoors of spruce and then surround this whole thing. And on top, I'm going to put a brick wall just like that. Then we can just do a little bit of texturing by adding some granite in here. Nothing too crazy, just a few going around like so, just randomly scattered. And we have this cool look to it, just like so. Then next up, what I wanna do is I wanna add some details here to the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some glass and I'm gonna just get white glass for this one. I'm gonna put white glass on the inside and then I'm gonna grab some of our trap doors of oak and put one on each side. I'm gonna do this all the way around. Now that we have that in place, I wanna add a little bit more detail. Let's grab some of our spruce trap doors and go down underneath every single one of these upside down stairs that you see here, just to add a little bit more detail. This is gonna go all the way around, just 
just like so. And let's repeat it on this side as well. Now that we have that in place, let's go ahead and add our windows to the bottom and do the same trick by putting our oak trap doors next to the windows and shutter. Now I'm gonna add some flower boxes. So I'm gonna add some grass blocks in front of these planks and then surround these in our spruce trap doors. Then underneath, I'm gonna add a slab of our spruce and then a berry bush on top. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this in front of every single window. Now the next bit of detail, I'm gonna go underneath these pop out logs we have here. I'm gonna put a grindstone, then I'm gonna put a fence, and then I'm gonna put a lantern hanging from this. And we're gonna do this in front of every single one of these pop out logs. Also in these logs, we're gonna cover these up with some trap doors going all the way around. Now the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this flooring here just with a mix of cobble and some stone real fast. Now that we have that in place, I'm gonna go on the inside here and grab our spruce trap door and go up by three here, go up by three. Let's take this up by three. Let's close all of them, but get rid of these two. They were just placeholders. Then we're gonna grab a door. I'm gonna go with our spruce door and we're gonna make a nice big door just like this. All right, now I'm gonna go with a little bit of a crop field out here in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a fence and a block. Let's go with a fence, a block, another fence, another block. One more fence and one more block. So counting from here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do the same thing on this side. So fence every other one, block of stone in between. Then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Let's go with a fence, a fence, a block on each side, and let's put a gate in the middle. I'm gonna put slabs on top of every other one so nothing comes in here. And we have that perfect. And then in here, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down uh, some crops right now. So right in the center, which should be here, should give you a three block gap space from here to here, and a three block gap space from here to the gate. I'm gonna put some water in the middle. Let's go ahead and waterlog this. It could be any block. I'm gonna go with a slab of spruce, and let's make all of this into farmland. And now we have our wheat here on this side, and you can add a couple lanterns just scattered here in just random spots just to give a little bit more light to this area. And I think that looks pretty good right there. Now let's jump over here on this side and I wanna have a tiny animal pen over here. So let's give this a space of one, two, three, right here on the spot, right here, this is the fourth. We're gonna go ahead and give this also another space of three from this side and go right to this corner. So space of three right there. So you take it up by two. I'm gonna grab some fences of our spruce, go up one, let's go up two, and let's go up three. Let's go up one, two, and three. I'm gonna grab our trap door right here of spruce and take it down. One, two, three, and four. Let's go down over here. One, two, three, and four. Let's go four right here on this side and then four also on this side. I'm gonna take this also on this end and take it down by uh, four as well, uh, matching this and you get a little bit of an elevation change. This one's on the top block, that's on the bottom block. And let's go one more going all the way down this way. So we got this little overhang right there. Then let's grab our gates as well. I'm gonna take this down right from here, one, two, and three. Let's also take it down, one, two, and three. Then down here, I'm gonna put a fence on each side and a gate in the middle. We're gonna do the same thing over here, fence on each side, gate in the middle. Let's go with the fence on each side and then three gates right on this corner. We can also bring in our lamps and throw in our lanterns pretty much anywhere. I'm gonna go with those two corners and we have ourselves a small animal pen on this side. Now I don't have any windows underneath, but you could add them if you like, or you could do small little arrow slit windows maybe on one side, just like so to give a little bit of detail. You can even do two sides if you guys want, maybe something like that will look pretty good. I'll add that to this side and then we can also repeat that over here. So let's take these two, these two upside down stair, stair facing this way, one stair here and a stair facing that way. You can put shutters down there if you like. If you wanted, you can go ahead and put some of the, uh, the oak one side by side. And then you could also repeat it on this side, put some oaks side by side on this side. Back here, I'm not gonna put anything, but you know what you could do? A nice little flower box. I'm gonna go ahead and put three down like this of our grass, cover all this in our trap doors, just like so. And you can add any flower or plant. I'm gonna go with our berry bush again, right there at the bottom. And if you wanna make this look a little bit more rustic or broken in, you can even do a couple maybe stairs just thrown in on the side like that just to add more atmosphere and detail. Uh, you can maybe put some down here, maybe some on the corner and just add those randomly if you like. You don't have to, but I think it just adds a little bit of personality to your build. Uh, if you wanna add just a few, just scattered in random places like that. Now let me show you guys how to set up the interior. So from the front door, you come on in. I'm gonna put a stripped spruce log right on this corner right here. And I'm gonna make a little bit of a spiral staircase. So we're gonna take this up. There's already a one. So let's go two, three, four, five. Let's go six. Now I'm gonna grab some stairs. Let's go ahead and put a stair of spruce facing this direction. Upside down stair. I'm gonna curve it right on this end. 
put a stair facing forward, another upside down, curve it on this end, stair facing forward, upside down, right here, curve it on this end, put a stair facing forward, upside down here, curve it here. Let's go with a stair facing forward, another upside down, another curve right there, and then we're gonna put a stair facing forward, another upside down, and another curve right here. Now from here, let's bring our strip spruce logs. I'm gonna take it all the way down from one side to the next. Let's put a, a log facing downwards, a log facing downwards over here. Take it all the way down, a log facing downwards here, one on this side, and just cross beam all the way around, just like so, to give it a little bit of a trim. Then in the gaps in between, we're just gonna come in here with just a, uh, a plank, a full plank all the way around. We're gonna leave a small little L right here so we can go all the way down. And then this curves, we won't hit our head and we're still good to go and we can keep going down right here. What you could do is on this one, we could put a trap door. So it should look like this, just a small little bit of a U and then we can go ahead and go down and we'll be fine. If you replace this trap door with anything else, a slab or anything, you kind of hit your head. You could duck underneath, but uh, it's better if this is gone and just a trap door remains, you have space to go all the way around. Now from underneath, we're gonna come back down. We should have enough space right around here. We should go ahead and give this a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring a slab. I'm gonna bring it all the way down right from this line, all the way down from one side to the next. And then over here, I'm gonna bring trap doors and it gives us a little bit of a lining there. I'm gonna go ahead and put two trap doors here. I'm gonna go ahead and put two more slabs and two more trap doors. So we get this cool, nice ceiling look. All right, now for down here, let's go ahead and add some details. I'm gonna put composters on each corner. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these composters up really with anything until it gets all the way to the top, right about there. Let's do it again on this end. Then once it gets to the top like this, I'm gonna add a flower pot on top of that. I'm gonna put a bamboo. You don't have to put the bamboo. You can put cactus or you can put a fern. Looks pretty good or a dead bush actually looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna grab some oak leaves and go down by two and down by two right there. And it has this really cool look. We're also using our friend Jeremy Boy's better leaf uh, uh, texture pack. It gives you this little fluffy leaves which looks really, really awesome. Now on top of here, I'm gonna grab an item frame and I'm also gonna put a little bit of a clock here just to make it look pretty cool. You don't have to do this. You can actually put up here maybe uh, even a sign with your name on I don't know. Have fun with it. Uh, maybe even uh, have uh, uh, just a, a painting up there would be pretty cool. So a little clock there on the side. I'm actually gonna grab some signs actually, and I'm gonna put one on this side and then one on this side, just to add a little bit more detail here. For this back part here, you can add anything. I'm just gonna add like a mini storage on this end and also um, get some nether wart as well. We're also gonna get some soul sand. We're gonna have some brewing stands over here as well. And we're gonna have a section here for brewing. So let's also get a cauldron over here. Now I'm gonna put some soul sand in the corner. I'm gonna drop some nether wood on top. I'm gonna grab a cauldron. I'm gonna put a one on each side like so. Then I'm gonna grab some barrels. I'm gonna put one on this side. I'm gonna actually put one on this side hidden in the corner. Then I'm gonna grab our uh, trap doors again. And this time I'm gonna grab them with uh, the oak ones. And I'm gonna go right from here, one, two and then one and two right here. Then I'm gonna grab some brewing stands. I'm gonna put one on this corner, one on this corner. I'm gonna grab a lantern and light this floor up. Let's put one on that end. And then we can add for added detail, maybe a chest right here on the top, just like so. Perfect. I'm gonna also grab some carpet. Let's go with some red carpet. I'm gonna put this right at the bottom, right here on these two sections. And then here on this corner, I'm gonna go ahead and grab another chest and put that here. And let's put one on top, just like so. Make this look a little bit more messy. Let's also grab some paintings and I'm gonna drop some paintings on this side as well. Let's put right on that corner a little painting. And then also I want one in the center bit right over there. That's gonna look pretty cool. Now from upstairs, the first thing I wanna do, I wanna bring this little fireplace down to the bottom. I'm gonna put it right here on the corner. So for right now, let's just go right on this edge. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Let's go down in this corner. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take this all the way up as well by six. Let's take this part down and let's take these two down and these two down. So we're gonna play around with this shape. It's gonna be a little bit of a diagonal. Let's grab our furnaces. Let's also grab uh, some blast furnace. And let's also grab some smokers. And we're gonna grab all three of these and put these on uh, the center bit. So let's go right here. Let's make a face in any direction. Could be this way, could be this way. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put them facing this direction. So going up and then going up, just like so. Then I'm gonna grab our stairs of our bricks and we're gonna do a little bit of a design here. So first thing, I'm gonna go with an upside down stair facing this way, one facing this direction. I'm gonna go with one facing this direction and one over here. 
Let's actually take this little piece down. I'm gonna put a slab of our brick in the center. So it's gonna go right there. So it's gonna look like this. Then right on this edge, we're gonna grab slabs and take this all the way around like so. And then on the bottom part, we're gonna go ahead and put a full block. Let's go one and two, one and two. Grab our stairs again, put one on this side facing this way, one on this side facing that way, and then upside down stairs wrapping around just like so. Except for the middle block, I wanna get rid of that and let's put a full block to connect just like this. What we could do though, we could go ahead and bring in a little bit of our granite and just randomly scatter a little bit going up just to give a little bit of texturing. And this can go as little or as uh, much as you want it going all the way up. Then in the center, I'm just gonna put a lantern right there or you can even have it hanging from the top. Either way it would look pretty cool. Now the next thing you could do to add a little bit more room, let's actually lift up this log one more time. We can add one more trapdoor here. You can still go up and down and it wouldn't affect it at all. We can go ahead and put another log on this side. Let's go ahead and put another log right here on this end. Let's grab some fences and I can put these fences right in between in this section here. And then let's add this trap doors under, uh, on top of the logs and give it a little bit more detail. Gives you a little bit of a separation when you go from this side over here to this end. Then we can also put one more log on this corner and one more fence right there and another, um, well, let's face the trap door that way so they all match. And you have this little nice little corner uh, and it's kind of concealed and keeps that part nice. Now, another thing you could do is just grab that composter again. We can go ahead and put this nice trick again. Let's put a composter on the side here. And we could do the same thing, or we could just put uh, the leaves straight up one and two on top of that. We could put some flower pots right on the side here and just decorate this corner to look a little bit cooler. We can actually maybe even put, let's put a dead bush on one of these. And that looks pretty cool. Adds that detail as you come up to the second floor. Now in this corner over here, we can add some storage. So right here, we can go with barrels going up. Let's go one level, two levels. Let's go three levels. And then up here, you can add a couple chests just to randomness sake. Uh, on the top here, we can even add some more trap doors right on this line, one, two, and three. We can add a little bit more detail, maybe a little flower pot on one side, maybe even another lantern to add some more light up there and just add that going up and that looks pretty nice. If you want, you can even enclose it in by going down here and just adding a bunch of trap doors till we get to the very top. Close those off and it looks like a little bit of a shelving unit. Go one more and that connects to the one we have on the top. Now over here on this corner, we can add our bed. We can go with a triple right there, would be pretty cool. Then maybe we can add some stripped uh, birch logs on the top. And then here we can add uh, maybe a slab of our oak and then a couple of spruce trap doors on the side. And then here in the front, we can add some more trap doors, but maybe this time we've got some oak ones and we just put them down right here on the corner and lift those up. And you can still come up and still get around. And we have a nice little bedroom over here. You can add a small nightstand as well here on the side and then maybe some more lights or even another flower pot will be okay. Then up here, we can even add some more stores. Let's go with three more barrels. Let's go with just a trapdoor lining on the top. And then up here, we can add even more lights, even more flower pots, and maybe my favorite, the sea pickle. And add a couple here on the side. And maybe another flower here, or plant, or sapling. That would look pretty cool. Then we can even add some paintings up here just to add even more detail to the top. Maybe one up top. Oh, that's a huge one. Uh, I think that was fine. <laughs> Maybe even, uh, let's go with one of these. I think that'll look a little bit better. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And I think we're done, but if you want, you can even add more stuff up here. I think these corner bits are fine to take away. You can even take some of these out and make it a little bit more run down in certain spots like this, just to break it up so it can have the same rusticness you have on the outside. But if you wanted to make a pattern, there you go. We got a little bit of a vaulted ceiling look just with slabs going up and down in a little curved fashion. And uh, this part breaks it up, but I think it still looks pretty cool. And on the inside, we can just break that off. Maybe even put some glowstone, maybe put some sea lanterns. Uh, you can pretty much put anything in here. Drop the glowstone on the inside right there, and then maybe add uh, a trapdoor in the center. And that looks pretty cool. We got a nice vaulted ceiling look next to our fireplace little area. But it's looking pretty nice. Last tiny little bit of details we can add is maybe some carpet. And I think it would look pretty good maybe just right here on this edge as you come on in right there. It would look pretty nice. I think we got this all set up though. What do you guys think? All right, and we're done. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this starter medieval house tutorial. This was so much fun to make. Let me know if you guys want to see more medieval style houses. Let me know in the comment section, but I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.